This video serves as an introduction and overview of the automatic nozzle. The automatic nozzle was invented in the late 1960s by Chief C.H. McMillan, who was also the founder of Task Force Tips. The automatic nozzle was developed to solve the problem of poor fire screen quality in the face of poor water supply. The automatic nozzle adds a pressure control device to the combination nozzle in order to provide a near constant pressure at a range of flows. The pressure control unit of an automatic nozzle functions similarly to a pressure relief valve, such as what you would find on the intake of a pumper. The control mechanism senses the pressure at the base of the nozzle, and using a spring makes adjustments to maintain optimal nozzle pressure for the flow being delivered. There is a baffle attached to the pressure control unit, which varies the discharge opening. The pressure control unit will always try to maintain the required nozzle pressure by either increasing or decreasing the baffle size. With automatic nozzles, the flow is controlled by the pump operator rather than being a fixed setting on the nozzle. If the pump operator supplies more line pressure, you will achieve a higher gallon per minute flow out of the nozzle. Automatic nozzles traditionally required 100 psi tip pressure, and this is still the most common design seen in the fire service. However, low pressure models are also now available as well as adjustable pressure models such as the mid-force. Automatic nozzles are rated for a specified flow range, for example, 70 to 250 gallons per minute, allowing one nozzle to be used for multiple sizes of hose lines. Keep in mind, however, that as the GPM increases, so does the nozzle reaction. Your theoretical maximums are going to be limited in practice depending on the required nozzle pressure and the size of the hose line used. For example, it is theoretically possible to achieve a 200 gallon per minute flow out of engine three quarter hose line using a 100 PSI automatic. But in practice, this would be impractical due to the amount of friction loss and nozzle reaction involved. When discussing fire hydraulics with automatic nozzles, it is important to note that the principles of fire hydraulics are still the same. An automatic nozzle will deliver the same amount of water as an equivalent fixed gallonage nozzle when the same friction loss formula is used. The difference is that the automatic nozzle can be underpumped or overpumped and still deliver a good stream. The automatic nozzle has several advantages and disadvantages when compared to the fixed gallonage nozzle. One of the main advantages of the automatic nozzle is that it will always provide a strong stream regardless of flow. The nozzle will provide a good stream whether you are flowing the minimum gallonage or maximum gallonage. This is useful in situations outside of interior fire attack, such as overhaul operations or small outside fires. By lowering the discharge pressure, the pump operator can reduce the amount of water being supplied to the nozzle and lower the nozzle reaction while still providing a stream with good reach and penetrating ability. The automatic nozzle also provides greater operational versatility due to its variable flow capabilities. An inch and a half automatic nozzle can be used with an inch and a half, inch and three quarter, or even a two inch hose line. Automatic nozzles can also provide higher maximum flows for a particular hose configuration, particularly if you are using a low pressure model. Automatic nozzles are also ideal for foam operations as they will automatically adjust to the ejector's flow rating. When discussing disadvantages of the automatic nozzles, the main one is that it will always provide a strong stream regardless of flow. You may be wondering, didn't we just say this is one of the main advantages of the automatic nozzle? Well, it is, but this feature can also be dangerous if the pump operator is not well trained in hydraulic calculations. It is easy for the nozzle operator to tell when a fixed gallonage nozzle is being underpumped since the stream quality will be poor. You can then always radio to the pump operator to tell him or her to increase the line pressure. However, since an automatic nozzle always provides a good stream, the nozzle operator inside the building may not be able to tell that the desired flow is not being achieved. Thinking you are flowing 150 gallons per minute when you are really only flowing 90 gallons per minute is a potentially deadly situation. Therefore, it is extremely important that the pump operator understand proper friction loss calculations. Automatic nozzles are also more complex from a mechanical standpoint than fixed gallonage nozzles. The pressure control mechanism does require occasional cleaning and lubrication in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. Also, the automatic nozzle is more prone to being clogged by debris due to the internal pressure control mechanism. In review, automatic nozzles are a proven tool that offer many advantages over conventional combination nozzles, but also have some important considerations to their use. Like any tool, proper training and maintenance is required in order to use them safely and effectively.